Hello all, this is Dan from DroneBlog.com here. Now although the DJI Air 3 can't be factory reset, today's video will discuss rolling back the Air 3 and the DJI RC2's firmware when this is available using the DJI Assistant 2 software. We'll also go over the steps needed to prepare the Air 3 for gifting or a sale, which would also include unbinding devices and deleting profiles. Feel free to use the chapters to skip to the areas of the walkthrough that pertain to you. Now, the DJI Assistant 2 software was created by DJI for use with many of its consumer drones to perform various tasks. Now, the task that we're concerned with would be, of course, rolling back firmware updates if and when this is actually available. Now, for previous models of DJI drones, there were options for bringing a drone back to previously released firmware versions. As of this video, though, there have been no previous Air 3 firmware versions that are available to roll back to. However, when and if this option becomes available, the steps are going to be covered here. To download the DJI Assistant 2 software for the Air 3, you'll need to go to dji.com slash air-3 slash downloads. And there's also a link in the description to this particular page. Now, after you've downloaded the software, you'll want to install it using the methods of installation for your particular computer type, whether that's a Windows PC or a Mac. To connect the Air 3 to your PC or Mac for firmware downgrading, you'll need the USB to USB-C cable that came with the Air 3. Now insert the Air 3's USB to USB-C cable into an empty USB slot on your computer. While the Air 3 is off, plug the USB-C end into the Air 3. With the Air 3 plugged into an empty USB slot on your PC or Mac, launch the DJI Assistant 2 software. Now for first time usage of the DJI Assistant 2 software, you'll need to be logged into your DJI account, which can be done in the right hand corner of the Assistant 2 screen. After logging into your DJI account or confirming that it is logged in, unfold the Air 3's arms and legs. Remove the gimbal cover and turn on the Air 3 by pressing the power button once and then holding and pressing the power button. The DJI Assistant 2 software will then launch a screen that displays an icon representing the Air 3. Here, you'll choose the Air 3. Now on the left side of the screen, choose Firmware Update. You'll see a list of firmware versions. Now if there are available firmware versions to downgrade to, you will see this under the Action field to the right. Right now, unfortunately, there are no downgrades available. We'll now talk a little bit about downgrading the firmware on the remote controllers if it's available. If you're looking to use the DJI Assistant 2 software with the DJI RC2 or RCN2, you'll want to insert the Air 3's USB to USB-C cable into an empty USB slot on your computer. Now, while the RC is off, plug the USB-C end into the remote controller then turn it on. With the remote controller plugged into an empty USB slot on your PC or Mac, launch the DJI Assistant 2 software. The DJI Assistant 2 software will then transition to a screen that shows either your RC2 or RCN2. You simply choose your remote controller here. Now on the left side of the screen, you'll choose Firmware Update. You'll see a list of firmware versions. If there are available firmware versions to actually downgrade to, you'll see this under the action field to the right. And like with the Air 3, currently there's no downgrades available for the remote controllers. Now, unlike the Air 3 and the RCN2, the DJI RC2 can be factory reset. Because the RC2 is an Android smart device, it's easy to reset the remote controller. Now here's something to note though. Factory resetting the DJI RC does not roll back the current firmware. It simply removes all saved user information and data from the remote controller. 
So to factory reset the DJI RC2, we want to power on the remote controller and then go into the notification screen by sliding down twice on the main screen. Now tap the settings icon on the top right hand corner of the screen and this will open the settings screen. We want to tap the system option at the bottom of the screen. Once there, we'll tap reset options. Then press erase all data factory reset. We'll be presented with a list of what will be erased from the remote controller. We can then choose Erase All Data. Now after these steps have been completed, the DJI RC2 will be back to new condition from a software standpoint. Now if you're planning on selling or gifting your Air 3 in your DJI RC2, there are two additional steps that we want to do. See, in addition to just wiping the data from the RC2, uh, the Air 3 and the RC2 should be unbound from the DJI account and the DJI profile removed from the RC2 remote controller. To unbind the Air 3 and the DJI RC2, with the Air 3 and the remote controller on, we want to go to Profile. Now in the DJI Profile, we'll tap Device Management, then we'll choose the DJI Air 3. And I mention that because you might have multiple drones. Select Remove Device from Account, and the Air 3 in the DJI RC2 will be removed from your DJI account. Now we'll briefly look at the DJI profiles. The last step of the process would be to remove any traces of our DJI profile from the DJI RC2. So to do this, we want to make sure that the RC2 is on, and the Air 3 doesn't need to be connected at this point. Now once we're in the DJI Fly app, we're going to go to the profile icon at the bottom of the screen. Now when on the profile screen, we'll scroll down on the right hand side until we see the settings tab. We'll go into settings. Choose log out on the left side of the screen. Confirm you'd like to log out of all your DJI accounts and we're now done. This will promptly remove your personal information and flight data from the DJI RC2. The information will not be deleted from your actual profile though, as this information is connected to the user account and not the DJI Air 3 or remote controllers. Well, that's all for this video. If you have specific questions about this or our other videos, we'd love for you to join us at DronePilots.com. For more tutorials and reviews, head to DroneBlog.com.